Well, I have one hive. I don't have a whole lot. This was all brood. So I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to keep it or not because it's so dark. I don't, you have to purify it so much. I'm not sure if I'm up for it. But we have a couple that I've been getting honey off of. I'll just show you real quick. So we've got... Uh, see they just died on there so this one I've got this one might actually all fit on there we don't see any evidence of mites they just died it looks like they froze we had all that weird weather last year they were all over everywhere so on this one you can see it's a nice pattern so all up around in here is honey so that's all I'll take off you can see all the um, can't think right now. Pollen. See all the pollen in between? And then, and that one. So, this is what they made into honey. This is what they were processing. Because this isn't, there's no brood in here. Isn't that neat? That's so neat. So, um, I have this colander that I got from Pampered Chef. And I have a big bowl. And I already processed some. And then I'll just scrape it in. And I already broke this side, so I'll do this side first. Now, when I did this before, and this one's going to be a little trickier because it's the the thicker stuff, so it doesn't fit in it quite as nice. Oh, well, this is going to be a mess. Well, you're just going to have to trust me that I did it. <laughs> it's easier when the whole thing is honey because then you can just get all of it off. And it kind of just kind of wants to come off, I feel. So... I'm just gonna scrape it off. These things are worth their weight in gold. I don't know anything they don't work for when it comes to bees. Gonna, uh, now I do keep my uh, I do keep my wax, and I want to keep my wax. I'm not sure what to do with all this. I'm making a video, sweetheart. I'm not sure. All right, the second. I'm not sure what to do with all of the honey. Stuff. Please don't drip it all over. Thank you. Should you do this in your kitchen? No. <laughs> Should you just cap it and run it through your spinner? Yes. Uh, somebody stole our spinner, so we don't have it. And I do wish this time that we did, because we have five of these that we could be doing. And then all I have to do is like cap this section that I want and then throw it in and it would be fine. But, you know, make do with what you have. How many times have we heard him say that this year? Like, start where you are, do what you can. All right, so this isn't stupid long. <coughs> I'm gonna go ahead and, and the nice thing is like when you have the whole thing, when you start going like that, it just peels off. It's so nice. All right, I'm gonna have honey dripping everywhere. So we'll just go like that. And it drips and drips and drips. It's wonderful. This is what we got off of half of one side that was a full frame. A honey one. Oh no, it was a deep one because that's all I had on these guys. I was planning on leaving them for the year. I wasn't planning on collecting honey. And then you get this, after you've let it set, you get this flaky. Um, this stuff was off of, they had just set comb, but it, they hadn't put honey in yet. So I scraped it off and I'll go ahead and render that down too. It's pretty clean. I'm pretty excited about it. So, here, I'll show you what I got from the last year. We have it out. Oh, we had it out. I don't have any, well, yes, I do. I didn't use any forms or anything. I just put it on into a loaf pan and then I put it in here. And I wish that this had smell of vision because when you open this up, oh my gosh better than any antidepressant there is out there. It smells like summer and sweet and hope. <laughs> Don't believe me? Render down your own wax and you'll see.